All right, you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep that life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash Ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Well, are you guys so ex pro football superstar? Um, excuse my voice. My voice is gone, man. Uh, forget my voice, you guys. But ex um, pro football superstar T Suggs. You guys remember T Suggs, big time player with the Ravens, infamously got into it with Skip Baseless uh, online. T Suggs is facing major trouble right now. T Suggs apparently was caught on tape uh, at a uh, Starbucks in a real serious situation. I'm gonna let you guys know what was going on right now. Now, uh, y'all hit the like, share, and subscribe as y'all come on in here. Uh, according to reports, T Suggs uh, apparently brandished the strap and threatened to take a man uh, off this earth at a Starbucks. Officials are sta stating, uh, and he has been arrested and charged uh, with a, uh, a felony because of this situation. Now, I'm gonna explain to you guys what's going on with this situation with T-Sucks. Now, and again, I apologize, man, I lost my voice. Uh, cooking LeBron James this morning on a different video. But uh, according to the reports, it says, uh, um, matter of fact, let me get this from the start. Hold on, you guys. It says that TMZ Sports has learned that Terrell Suggs' arrest on Tuesday stemmed from an incident in March in which he allegedly brandished the gat and threatened to take a man off this earth during an argument in Scottsdale, Arizona, Starbucks. Now, it says, according to the court documents that they were obtaining, the altercation happened at a drive through at the coffee joint around 12.28 p.m. on March the 10th. It says, in documents, officials say Suggs had driven past the ordering speaker, and when he put his Range Rover in reverse, to remedy the situation, he made contact with another man's vehicle. Uh, now, according to the reports, it says, um, let me see. It says that as Suggs pulled out to leave, officials say he brandished or flashed a black gat in his left hand outside of the driver's side window. And it says that the, the gat was never pointed at the victim. Officials wrote in the documents and was just merely shown. Still, authorities say the man believes Suggs, who was not accused of ever getting physical with the alleged victim, was threatening to off this dude. Now, uh, Suggs, it says the man reported the incident to the police a short time later, and according to authorities, the entire incident was caught on a dash cam recorder. It says that about a month later, uh, at 2.40 p.m. on Tuesday, cops say they pulled over T. Suggs and arrested him for his alleged role in the, count uh, in the encounter. Now, T. Suggs, I guess, said, uh, I was in a quiet area of Scottsdale in the middle of the day in a Starbucks drive through near my home when the incident happened with a vehicle behind me. I was getting coffee. I was not looking for any trouble. When the man in the other vehicle escalated the situation, 
I fear for my safety, not knowing what his intentions were. Throughout the incident, I was the one who felt in danger while fearing I would be followed home and for the safety of my family nearby at my residence. Um, you know, he says, uh, it says that he was ultimately booked on two charges, one felony count of orderly disconduct involving weapons and another misdemeanor count of threatening and intimidating. And he appeared before a judge on Tuesday evening and after a quick hearing, he was released. It says Suggs, the Arizona State University alumni, played in the NFL from 2003 to 2019, has not publicly commented on the matter, although sources close to him say he did feel threatened during the altercation with the man. Now, I wasn't there, uh, so I can't tell you what happened. They told me they got it on tape, but I will say this. Um... You know, I don't think I don't see T. T. Suggs as a liar. It says, altered, although there was apparently no damage to the car, cops say both drivers exited their vehicles and an argument ensued. But the two eventually returned to their rides and made their orders. It said that, however, as Suggs was about to leave the area, he allegedly flipped off the man which authorities say kicked off another verbal argument. According to the documents, the man swore at Suggs before the ex-NFL superstar challenged him to a fight. It said the former Baltimore Ravens pass rusher allegedly called the man a PAC before adding, I will blank your BA. So T. Suggs apparently got into it with a man of a different race. Um, called the man a PAC and told him he was going to off him allegedly on tape. Now, this situation is going to get, you know, kind of funny because, you know, I already know what type of angle they're going to take with that. You know what I mean? And so, if anything, you'll probably see a lawsuit come out of this. Um, You know what I'm saying? You know, if they got him on tape, it's going to be hard if they got him on tape, you know what I mean, to kind of get around the charges. They say somebody recorded the whole thing on dash cam. So, and y'all smash the like button as y'all come on in. I'm still in here giving y'all that work. I wasn't even going to do no more videos, but I'm a G, you know what I'm saying? I'm a G at all times. Salute to everybody in the chat room for coming up and support the, chat, uh, the channel tonight. Y'all already know what it is. I ain't even got no voice. And I'm holding down like a boss. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what real G's do. So, but yeah, um, again, you guys see the situation. Y'all see what's going on. Um, T sucks. They say it was on tape. I don't know how he's going to get around that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when they say they got him on tape. But if he was defending himself, he right. I mean, if this was self-defense, you know what I mean? You gotta he have a right to and listen, you never want to see these situations because them type situations can end bad. So, you know, I thank God that T Suggs got his life and the other man do too, because these type of situations could go left when it get like this. I've seen so many situations go the other way and do make a split decision or somebody make a split decision and then it's over, you know what I'm saying? And then we looking back like, man, bro, like, you know what I mean? So brothers got to be on point and using their minds. And I seen a brother talking about this the other day. He was like, bro, in the States, man, tensions is at an all-time high in the United States. You know, people. he was saying that, man, you can't even go out in the street. And, like, people arguing, tensions at an all-time high. Like, people ready to, pop, ready to, like, get at you over the littlest thing. Road rage, anything. You know what I'm saying? A parking space, beeping a horn at somebody. Um, he was like, man, it's just going crazy in, in the States right now. You know, the way people is just acting and responding and, and turning up in the streets. And so every time I see the news, I'm seeing somebody getting, you know, popped, laid down, stuff like this. I'm like, man, bro, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Every time I turn on the news, somebody getting 
like into an altercation, somebody getting popped at every single night. It's like I can't even. Is that a gas station somewhere? People get into it at gas stations. People going crazy, losing their mind. You even see this stuff at Starbucks. Man, is at Starbucks can't even get a coffee. Can't even get a coffee at Starbucks. And dudes is going crazy at Starbucks. I mean, I'm just trying to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? People want to be able to live in peace, man. You know what I'm saying? And be blessed, man. This type of stuff going on. Y'all see it. Y'all see this stuff going on. Y'all smash that like button, too. As y'all come on if y'all ain't subscribed, subscribe and ring the notification bell. Some of y'all subscribe, but y'all ain't run the bell. You got to ring the bell to get all the updates. You know what I mean? Again, I apologize for my voice. I hope it be better tomorrow. You know what I mean? I sound like Nas Escobar. You feel me? That's how I feel. I sound like Esco. Like when he was in Belly and he told DMX, yo, how much you think we can make off that shit? <laughs> hey, yo, that's how I feel right now. I feel like Esco. How Nas talking real life. You know what I'm saying? Friday the 13th, my CD drop. Pump more bass than PBY. Oof, God. Nasty Nas in the area. That's how I feel like right now when I'm talking to y'all. But, man, I hope T-Suggs get through this, man. They say they got T-Suggs on tape, y'all. They say somebody got him on the dash cam. And that's another thing. When you get into road rage situations, everybody got a dash cam now. So you got to be like, like the other dude that they say playing the NFL. That's a warrant out for his arrest now. The dude that, the dude, uh, what's the y'all, y'all was telling me about him the other day. He got in an accident, Rashi Rice. I think that's his name, Rashi, Rashi Rice. He, um, they got a warrant for his arrest now, bro. The police put out a warrant for his arrest based off that accident. Somebody got it on dash cam. You know what I mean? Okay, Rashi, or Rashi, I don't know how you pronounce it. I don't watch football like that, but I know T-Subs because I used to watch it back then. And he used to go off on skip. Yeah, man, but Rashi. Yeah, man. He um they 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 press charges the police uh uh looking to arrest him according to reports. They got a warrant for his arrest. Uh according to the report I read. So man, this stuff getting crazy, man. Y'all gotta be careful out there, bro. Real talk, man. They say people going crazy, man. You know what I mean? They say anything you say setting people off. T Price, what up, homie? Salute. Shout out to my boy Old Head Podcast in the building, man. You understand what I'm saying? Holding it down. You know what it is. You know? And so, Jesse, what up, baby? Jesse C. Love, what's up? What up, baby? Salute to you, my sister. You understand what I'm saying? Salute to you. What you mean is this the high value, man? <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> Yo, man. You talking about T-Sucks? That you talking about? You talking about T-Sucks? I don't know who you talking about. You know what I mean? I see you in there, Jesse. Mm-hmm. I see you, girl. <laughs> Salute to you, my sister. Uh, I see you. No doubt. Salute to you, my sister. Much love to you. Hope you're having a great night. Sorry, Ticket ain't got no voice. They got me in here sounding like Nas in his prime. Esco. <laughs> Escobar season. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. T Suggs, man. They say they don't charge him with a felony, bro. Yeah, they said they got them on tape. Y'all let me know what it is, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the podcast, man. You know what I mean? What you mean, Jesse? You said they can't hold the right piece. <laughs> hey, Jesse, stop that. Jesse C. Love, stop that, girl. Girl, you something else. Man. Dude, man, go sit down somewhere, man. Yeah, man. Y'all already know what it is. Man. Yeah, I lost my voice when I was cooking LeBron James today. 
You know what it is. I'm going to get it back, though. I'm a boss. For real. I'm going to get that back quick. Don't worry about that. I'm going to holler at y'all. Subscribe to the podcast show. Link is at the top. We are, we almost a few subscribers away from a 3,000, man. Subscribe to the podcast show tonight. 